There's just something about nature, the way it looks, the way it smells, the feel of it, being outside on a beautiful warm day like today with the sun shining, the trees, the grass, the birds, everything about it speaks of the wonder that God created when he created this entire universe and especially the earth. When he made you and I, he made us to be seen, to sow us into the earth. You and I have gifts, talents, and abilities that differ one from another. You're not like me and I'm not like you. All of us are different. We don't think alike, we don't act alike, we don't speak alike. The fact that he made us different says something about the building of a community of believers upon the face of the earth. The one thing that brings us together is this common bond we have in Jesus Christ. We have this drawing toward Him, this innate sense within us that says there is a God. When we go and we visit those backwoods areas where we find people who have, are cut off from the outside world don't really know a lot about what's going on we invariably find that they worship some God. They have some statute or something there that represents God to them. They don't know who God is. They've never heard the name of Jesus. But inside of them, there's a seed of God. There's a seed that tells them there is a God. There is a God who made them, who created them. He created all of us. And there is this desire to know Him, and not only to know Him, but in order to experience the purpose of my life, I need to come to the place that I really know what my life is about. What do I like? What do I hate? What do I love? What turns on my passion? What draws me? What repels me? All of those things are indications of my purpose, the destiny that God put on the earth for me. What am I supposed to be doing with my life? My life is a seed. Every word I speak is a seed. Every feeling that I express is a seed. Likewise, words that I don't speak are seeds that don't get sown. Deeds that I don't do are seeds that don't sprout and produce a harvest to crop. What are you doing with the seed of God within you, the seed of your life, the purpose of your life? Are you living in community with other believers? Are you sowing your life so that the world becomes a better place? Yes, there are six and a half billion people on the earth, but you are one of those six and a half billion people. You have a reason for being here. There is a seed of God within you that needs to be sown in the earth that will make the world a better place. Why don't you find out today what your purpose is? Why don't you really look deep inside of you? Ask some very difficult questions. Are you living the life that God designed you for? You are a seed. How are you sowing your life? When you change your harvest, so different seed. It's so important to do that, you know? Because you are a seed, and there is a harvest within you.